Hello, welcome to the learning adventure part 2. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about the Angular project uh, files and folders. The first one is E2E, a folder for end-to-end -end testing. Uh, Protractor is the name of the tool used. Okay, then the second folder is node modules. A folder for all of the dependencies downloaded by the npm and then folder src folders that contains our source code which is where all of our components services custom directives custom pipes modules gonna be stay there and then we have angular.json configuration for our angular project Okay, these are all the configuration. And package.json file, app name, app version, scripts. Okay. Configuration for our node project specifies our dependencies. And then we have package-lock.json a very detailed record of dependencies to precisely recreate builds know what it is but hopefully we'll never have to use it so let's see inside the source folder uh, we have index.html right here um, and index.html like we are familiar with angular build a single page application this is the single page instead of using anchor tags to link the user to other html documents in angular we use json uh, sorry javascript to modify this single page all routing will be angular routing which we will see later styles.css global styles tends to be avoid putting a style here unless it is something like linking bootstrap or global font settings okay main.ts this is the main typescript uh run your um angular application and run test but we don't need to touch this one polyfills provides uh, polyfills filling in functionality uh, older browsers may not support this then you have fabicon that's the icon um assets Sets folder assets like images are uh, used for your web app and then environments folder uh, contains multiple environment files that allow us to build the project uh, for multiple contexts uh, we obtain one some settings to be different in production versus uh, development local or for instance then you have app um, we'll spend uh, like 98 percent of our time here all of the actual components service models custom directives custom pipes we're gonna write in here all right Let's see how to run the um, your program. So we get to do ng serve dash dash open. It's gonna run the server. But when we want to we deploy this program into cloud or any uh, server, we don't we are not going to run this um, ng serve dash dash open. So this is only for uh, uh, developing in local environment okay so 
so you get the title welcome to learning adventure let's see where this coming from um oh okay before that let's see this um okay so the local host 4200 okay listening on that um app.component.html this is where the title but this title was written into the typescript i will make one more video for uh typescript okay some rules and how it's different from javascript okay um if we change this title here uh <coughs> We change here like header goes here save it and check the okay it changed here um but I don't want that I like to keep the title we're gonna change this later let's see how to create a component okay so to create a new component the syntax for that is ng um, ng generate ng generate uh, component generate component and the name of the component I'm gonna say demo uh component okay so what's gonna do is create a folder in the project directory here demo component and also create four of the four files okay um one is css one is html one is spec.typescript this is also TypeScript, but uh, we work only three of them. Okay, uh, TypeScript. So we work HTML, CSS, and one of the TypeScripts. Okay, so now you have to add the selector in the uh, app.component.html and then save it. Uh, if I see here. So the demo work here, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you very much.